Okay, the way that I did this, I uh, decided to go with, uh, I want to cut a nice square hole, or rectangular hole, because, uh, you know, I'm a human. <laughs> no, but because uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to, uh, to um, cut directionally. You know, no fancy corners or anything like that. And uh, and so basically what I did is I, I, I lined it up uh, based upon the two front anchor points for the roof racks. Uh, that's where I lined that up and then I, I used the same thing to line up over there. And then back here, same idea, I, I, lined, up, I lined up the back with the, the two rear anchor points. And then I went along the ridge, the inside of this ridge. And uh, I'm guessing that uh, this, this piece here will make a nice uh, footing. It's a bit of a rain gutter and it's recessed a little bit here. So, so the edge, it'll be easy to, to trim that edge because uh, it will be down below the eye, the eye view from the ground. So down here, you can't see into that lip, and yet there it is, and, and it'll, it'll uh, seat down nicely on top of that. And it's out of the ways of the doors and, and everything. So that will be the edge of the, uh, the edge of the cap of the top. And then I'll put a plate that goes along here. And so I'm going to cut the hole in, and then what I'm going to do is pull the piece out, obviously. I'm going to have a big hole in the, in the roof. And then uh, I will be able to fit a 4x8 sheet of plywood on top of here, pin it down to, to these until I'm ready to start building the cap. And then uh, I hope for some sunny weather. It's now September the 12th. So with a little bit of luck, we're going to uh, have decent weather so I can do this project. Looking forward to it.